um, Lee Jenkins wrote in his piece a few months back that when you have a bad game, you storm out of the locker room and go straight to a gym. Do you still do that? Uh, yeah, yeah, sometimes. So it's uh, it's about things that sometimes I can I can have uh, 30 points and still think it's a bad game for me because uh, I did not help my team to or I did not do what I supposed to do to help my team win. So it's kind of when I was young, it was more about oh if I made this shot, this open shot, I was open. Why I did not make it? And I went to the gym and shoot more, so next time I can make it. But now it's about just clearing my mind and uh, taking my frustration away from my family, mm -hmm. uh, and not taking my frustration back home. Um, a few years ago, Car your teammate Caron Butler threw his sneakers into the garbage can. Um, what was your reaction when you saw that? And you know. It was uh, it was my rookie year, and you know, growing up, uh, growing up the way I grew up, that did not exist. Like then, um, like now, you know, I, rea I realize more because I've been four years in, in the league, and uh, you get so many shoes. Some some days you can throw some, you know. But for me, for the way I grew up, I'm never going to do that. I save all my shoes I get. Uh, I don't think it was bad. The move that he did, but it was kind of a shock for me because there's a lot of kids back home in Greece, and that, in Greece the country that can provide for this stuff like it's about uh, back home in Africa, there's a lot of kids that don't have shoes. So I picked them, I took them home. So how many games do you use your a pair of shoes before switching? I used I used last year five or six pairs. So so if you do the math, that's hundred games, so twenty. Twenty-four is game. We we see your, your your social media. It's full uh, full about your, your it's so full about your family. Yes. How how important was this? You guys uh, sticking together when it was really difficult a difficult time in Greece and now that you're in the NBA. How difficult it was it that you guys were together and then you know enjoying the success that you have now. It's really important. Uh, it's kind of like I don't see it. Um, I just see it like a usual. It's usual for me to have my family around me so much because they were they were there back when I was younger. We were always together, and uh, a lot of people would be like, "Oh, you're so close to your family," but that's how it's like always has been. So it's nice having your family close to you. Is uh, and the most important thing is just nice. Uh, having your family enjoy the success that you're having, so basically everybody's enjoying together. Uh, there is a story a few years ago of you um, uh, not having a, a PlayStation to play uh, when you moved to Milwaukee. Do you have, do you have a PlayStation now? Probably? I got four. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I got them all. I got them all for free. So oh. <laughs> I, I, I paid for one, just but I, I don't play. I'm not. I just give it to my brothers or give it to my friends and stuff. Okay. Oh. Yanis, um, what's your reaction when Kevin Durant said that you would be an MVP in the near future? I'm um, great. Great compliment. <laughs> great compliment. But uh, you know, I just try to listen and be like. Okay, yeah, but I gotta put, still put the work in because if I don't work hard, everybody can say you can be great, you can do this. But the, most most of the time, when they say that, they just try to put pressure on you. Like you can do it, they can you can do it and say, and when you do it, they say, oh, I said it, I told, I told you. But if you don't do it, you be like, ah, oh, okay, you know what I mean? That's what they're gonna say, they're like ah, oh, he, he didn't work hard. But the thing that I try to focus on is working hard, like it's a lot of good compliments. I've heard compliments from uh, LeBron, from KD, from Steph Curry, like when I was rookie, like nobody knew me then, you know, from Steph Curry. And, but the most important thing is putting the work in every year, getting better every year, and when you achieve it, you know that you achieve it. It's not because that's said, you're gonna be that one day, it's about because you put the work in.